All right. <laughs> oh no, rain! My one weakness. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in uh, Gothic, the way they dress there, because I had some um, like high end clothing from there before, but uh -huh. the like the suit from this era, does it stand out like in the Gothic area? Or are they so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, adventuring clothes would blend better, but you wouldn't, people wouldn't go, oh, he's a rich dude. Uh, the Gothic post uh, cyberpunk apocalypse area thing. Uh, you can get away with a lot of styles of clothing. I mean, he, he, people would be like, that's weird. He, he's super duper retro if you're going around in the uh, the Old West type clothing. But um, I mean, you could get away with like parachute pants and stuff. It just depends on how wealthy you want to look. If you don't mind looking uh, like a poor working class adventurer type, you could simply wear adventurer's clothing and you wouldn't stand out. But if you can uh, somehow get some uh, nice clothing, like if you're to go to Chicago and get one of the fancy business suits and stuff like that, then everybody would immediately assume the are two people with you are, again, your bodyguards because they're dressed like, I'm a working class job. <clears throat> well, what yeah. I had done before in Gothic, actually, I think actually might have been the last time I played with Yana. We, mm -hmm. had, uh, we had gone to the funeral in Gothic, and I had actually bought us kind of high end clothing for that zone. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, that sure was the clothing I was that. looking for. I, I had stored it in the embassy, but obviously the well, other people it, are probably wearing it now. I'm sure you can get it off of them. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, um, uh, as far as as far as like clothing and stuff goes, unless it's like super duper special, people are pretty communal with a lot of that stuff because there's so little of it. Yeah, uh, because clothing takes a long time to make when you're using looms and shit. Does they don't they 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 don't have a lot in the way of like they. They don't have a lot in the way of factories and stuff like that here, you know, where you've got the giant belts that go up to the ceiling and the people you have working on are the kids because their hands are like smaller and stuff. And sure, occasionally machines rip them off and all that, but that's just part of child labor. Right. So, mm -hmm. no, I, the, the main point was just fitting in in Gothic with uh, clothes that you know blend in with that time period so what we can do is go back to uh, where we got the clothes before okay uh, well you as you remember clothing is fairly expensive in gothic um, it's you could you could actually set up your own clothing uh, uh, distribution center and probably make some decent money which you know is, would give you a reason to employ all these extra kids I guess Hmm. Yeah. You know, so you're you're saying it would make more sense to actually go like buy the clothes in Shermer, is what you were saying. It'd be a lot cheaper, but I mean, you could buy the clothes in Gothic, and then you'd definitely be uh, out some money. But yeah, it's uh, hold on. I'm just looking for the uh, cost. Uh, no. Transport weird shit, illegal shit, slaves. They got slaves there, so you know. Uh, In Gothic? Always, yeah. Yeah, they're not super common, but life is hard there. Hmm. You yeah, haven't updated your price lists yet, so I got to. Um, yeah, I think you had sent me something for Gothic. Did I? Suitcase, suitcase. Uh, sweet. Yep. Yeah. Apparently, I don't sell clothes there anymore. We'll figure it out later. So yeah, um, I got the prices for Shermer. So let's just we'll run to Shermer. Oh, there it is. Fancy, fancy clothing, including footwear, is three hundred and fifty silvers there for three hundred and fifty silver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, considering that's like. Uh, um, a 70 um, silver to a gold there. Uh-huh. So, yeah, that's, I mean, shit, it's cheaper here and much cheaper in Shermer because, uh, uh, well, 
Actually, I'm not sure. Shermer, you get uh, some moderately fancy stuff that'll look good there for like uh, $100. So that's like one third of a gold piece as opposed to several gold pieces. Yeah, let's just do that. I've got Shermer money on me. So we'll How go by like there, get, get some clothes. How would you like to get to Shermer? Uh, I will attempt to use my uh, trump card. So Give luck me a roll. luck roll or have it break forever. Let's see. I think I might have more than one here. Let me take a look real quick. I've got one to Central Station. Hmm. Yeah. If, if it's... Uh, See, the way it works is like if you have multiple cards to the same location, if one of them breaks, then all to that location are fucked. But if you have like one to Central Station, one to the Park Statue, one to... and Yeah, you I've got... Breaks, you've still got Central Station. I've got one to Central Station, and then the last time I was in, I made one when I was doing my skill whoring. Um, Which would uh, you like to try to use? The uh, I'll try to use the Central Station one. All right, try to make it, or both yours and Ralph's trump card breaks because somebody's fucking painting. Oh, you're really saying well. that all the locations would do that? Well, in that it case, um, yeah, because it it would mean that somebody has changed something. Like maybe they put some new graffiti on the wall or something, and then that breaks the cards. But if you make your luck roll, then they're all fine. Um, you yeah, try your other one first. Yeah, let, let me do the other one so I don't risk destroying two of them. Great. I'm just a man. Uh, right. It, it, it's the area that they, it, they've completely changed the area. Maybe they chopped down all the trees or whatever in that area. So that card's just gone. Now you can try Central Station and see if they've blown up the Central Station or whatever. Let's see. Or put graffiti on it. Or maybe there's a homeless guy standing there, you know, doing the helicopter with his cock, and that's preventing you. Or from... we could just take the, um, you know, just attempt to take the, uh... hold on, let me delete it real quick before I forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we well, can take good the Glims to, to uh, St. Louis. So sure. Test that out. Well, so, in, hey, let's... in the ahead. morning, before you do that, they're really happy that you didn't disappear. They kind of expected you might. Uh, they ask you to, uh, are we going to get set up in St. Louis now? Can you take us St. Louis? Can you take some of us St. Louis, give us a big pile of money, and then we'll go set ourselves up and begin uh, getting alcohol and bottles and stuff? Because we also have the clums to that, so we can start doing that right away if you can give us a bunch of money to get set up in St. Louis. All right, let's go there. Yeah, you, you end up, basically, you just take a couple guys through and then they they basically all they need now is a big thing of money and then they can try this i mean they're not as good at it as you are setting up and all that stuff they don't have business as a skill but then they'll go and just buy liquor from a liquor store because they again no business skill they have no special knowledge of st louis or <laughs> well i was gonna say if we're, we're doing this how about we um do the are they wanting to bring the stuff back to the embassy, the embassy to decant, or are they wanting a place to work in St. Louis? They're, they're going. To, they don't want to use the Clems because as soon as you guys go away from Clems, they're going to deactivate it and uh, put it under heavy guard and stuff because they don't want anybody coming in through this. They're super paranoid about it because uh, that's why the other one here got blown up. When are they planning on deactivating it? soon as you leave uh unless you tell them i'll be back in a few minutes i'm just taking people to st louis and then we're going to go over to somewhere because else. because we also need to head over to gothic basically you could do um, that from the st louis uh clubs yeah oh yeah that's true okay we'll so, as soon as you guys all disappear <clears throat> then we'll deactivate this and put it under heavy guard and um uh, maybe set up some bear traps when we go through don't deactivate it immediately um <sighs> Wait uh, 10 minutes. That way, if there's a problem with the Kalims there, we can come. Or, well, they, well they, we're not going to be able to come back through if it's a problem there. Well, you're, you've got to go back and forth a couple times because I don't think they've been to St. Louis, just you, yeah? Well, uh, I'd take them, and you'd also have to take a couple of their, their doors, and then they would uh, begin. 
then they would come back and begin ferrying Doras there. Gotcha. Because okay. you have to go there. Gotcha. But they can leave a Dora to they wanted they were trying to like allow you to delegate, but they don't really know how business works in the old timey days and stuff as they call it. So if you want to get them set up, uh, basically all they need is a lot of money. And if you what uh, I was thinking is maybe I could help set up like a place for them to buy it and get a and make a deal for them to buy things in bulk. That way they just got to go there and pay for it, like set up an account for them kind of thing. Um, let's see. Uh, that's in the that's technically in the Shermer area, yeah. You're acclimatized to Shermer? Super acclimatized. Give me a La Row at full, super acclimatized. Okay. Yeah, I know there's a lot of issues with buying alcohol, but alcohol is important. Yes. Well, as long as you can keep her away from it as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, you know how to get it, but you need to apply for and then go through bureaucracy to get a liquor license, which normally the only time you'll even apply for a liquor license is if you have an establishment. So in order to get a discount, you would have to at least have a small bar or something like that here. So you can say, this is why I need a liquor license as opposed to, I just want a well, discount. I mean, I've got a lot of contacts. I could just cut a deal with someone who's a distributor or uh, buys in bulk and they can sell it to me at a discount. Yes, but I mean, in I order for them need to a or do it, formalize or, it, yeah. Right. Yeah. First of all, don't do it on the Illinois side. We cross the river. We do it on the Missouri side, so we're not paying all the Illinois taxes. And why don't you just buy a liquor store? Well, that's one possibility. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's the same thing. It's uh, doing that yeah. takes time. You got to apply for licenses. You got to do all this stuff. I'm just trying to think of the quickest way possible. Um, well, the quickest way possible is just paying uh, full retail, but you're thinking, give me a business role, that with your business skills, you can crush civilization. Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> you're thinking that with the amount of money that you'd be making and the gold exchange rate, even buying at retail prices, you're going to uh, 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 make a money on it. Not as much, but enough that... Plus, the, you're going to basically just increase your profits from the golden waddle. Um, probably uh, not by a huge percentage since you're buying retail, but enough that it's like, yeah, and plus they'll get it set up, and then eventually when you've got more time, you can go there. Like, you could now uh, try to set up stuff to buy a liquor store in the future or something. And do you have a lawyer in? Oh, yeah. I'm uh, yeah, I'm super yeah, climatized. I've got that. my Saul Goodman here. I've got an offshore company set up so I can actually buy things and keep it kind yeah. of anonymous. You could you if, if basically all you need is money then and uh, then uh, probably next time you play you'll own a liquor store and then it will perpetu it will have like we're open three hours a day if you feel like buying something, you know, or or it can stay open all the time and they just seem to be selling an awful lot of liquor for some reason so yeah. well, i was even thinking of if it might make sense to even try to buy a small distillery or something uh, rather than an actual liquor store but i don't know this is long term like I could well, I was gonna say, the, if you if you wanted to buy a the only advantage of a liquor store over a distillery because you can get a distillery later but the only advantage of a liquor store over a distillery is you get a lot of different liquors with a liquor store as opposed to we make whiskeys here um, so yeah, you could, you could literally buy a very small liquor store and you're just ordering like you're a medium or large liquor store, which will yeah. confuse your suppliers, but you've got all your licenses or you will after the lawyer set up. I suggest Rad, you start with the low hanging fruit. Like we talked about, let's build a, a, a wide base first and mm -hmm. then we'll go up. Yeah, that's, um, <clears throat> but no, I mean, just. For the sake of time, we don't need to get into all that right now. Um, sure. uh, the, like I said, the easiest way is here's a lot of cash and then uh, use the cash to buy the, the liquor at uh, retail, then take it, put it in different bottles, take it there, get some of the gold, cash in the gold, uh, buy more liquor, repeat. And they yeah. will run it back and forth. They'll be like assholes with backpacks, basically uh, moving your shit back and forth. 
and then your profits will increase slightly and if later you come in and backfill then you can increase the operation because there's nothing illegal about uh 10 guys going to a liquor store going we need big boxes of alcohol and they're like why we're kegger fuck you. <laughs> college yeah. college kids. go, <laughs> go to them, costco even <laughs> right and because they're they're not gonna they're not gonna really care and then uh putting it in different bottles and then literally having it disappear from the world nobody cares you know uh and then uh the other the other bottles will be brought back to the embassy where they can soak off the labels and then they'll work on getting their bottle juggling skill up so that they can uh, do the <laughs> cocktail because right, some so of them yeah, so let's let's do that. Um, Which way would you like to give them to start the pump? Basically, any amount's fine. You could even tell them just go go there and get some gold and make it happen on your own. It'll just it it they'll do a slower build up is all. Yeah, but yeah. You so, really make a huge difference as long as uh, you let the other guys know this is okay. So I've got, uh, I'm going to give them $5,000 in local currency. Holy Christ. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're ready. <laughs> um, with that, they're going to rent a place and stuff. Uh, or are you renting it for them? Or do you want them to use that money to rent a place? Um, yeah, this should be enough to get a place rented for like the season and then get yeah. them started with like a couple yeah. grand of uh, booze. Hey, and, hey, uh, hey. One is close to the fucking uh they're 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 like how much is this place yeah this place it just shows a shithole but the clubs is like across the street and they're like yeah <laughs> the other thing we could show them is a salvation army for clothing yeah want to uh, take a cut of the profit in. and invest it in clothing for the uh people in the embassy just uh oh i see what you're saying yeah that's a good idea <laughs> it shows them all wearing like the I'm poor and like the stupid t-shirts and shit. And they're like, I'm with stuff. They're like, eh. the Chicago Bulls championship t-shirt from a decade ago. <laughs> Super Bowl shuffle. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. They, they'll, they'll, they'll take care of it. Um, everybody give me a empathy roll at half. Uh, they, they seem like a fine body of men and women. They're about 50-50 split. The humans are like the miscellaneous uh, type thing. Swade's so like, ah, jolly good. Rock, rock, rock. Yeah, I made it by having. All right. Yeah, I'll send you a PM on it. Uh, you guys, oh, you you guys talk about yourself or anything else. So, Mildred, question for you. Yes. Do you like to be referred to as the crazy psycho killer? I mean, do you really feel like that's who you are? Mm, I don't care. You do care. I don't. I kid you not. Your face completely changed when you were talking earlier. Mm. See, it's starting to change again. You don't like it. I don't care, okay? Stop telling me. It's I a facade. Stop breaking my facade. It's all right, all right, I'll stop. <laughs> I like being an evil person. It's very safe. Nobody talks to you, except from you. Does that make me a friend or a foe? <laughs> That's the question. Definitely a friend. We'll see. I hope so. Mm. <laughs> so I asked them how. Yes, Mr. Rudd. <clears throat> what do you guys do uh, back at the embassy? Oh, we uh, just uh, help out with anything that needs helping. You know, odd jobs. Mm -hmm. The men what, and women smile at you. And what uh, what race do they appear to be? All of them are human, and uh, um, it's like miscellaneous. It's like somebody's playing with like the skin tone shader, and because you know in the video games you don't really get a lot of different features and stuff. It's like uh, you just more or less dark. That's it. Uh, in other words, all these guys look like. Uh, 
super good, super kind of good looking um, and uh, uh, fit and all that. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like the the normal characters people would build during a video game come to life type thing. There there's no weird like club foot or any, any weird no split ends nothing nothing odd at all. Just well, they're kind of odd in that they're a bit too uh, regular featured and just like in video games, they all kind of look vaguely like they could be related. Like the artists weren't putting as much work into the different uh, faces as maybe they should have, you know, that kind of deal. They say now, remember, I'm entrusting you with something very important here and yes, giving Mr. you lots of money. And I come in real close and kind of glance over towards Mildred. Now, the last thing I want to do is have her hurt you. But it's still they look authentic. surprised at this. Like, what? If anything goes, uh, no, Mr. Rod, we, right. we're, we're totally into supporting uh, your endeavor, sir. All right, that's what I want to hear. They they look confused by all this. Okay, everybody can roll empathy. Did you, Did you just give me the nod, Rod? No, I, I was, <laughs> Attempting I, I to, uh, I was attempting to strike a little fear into them. Yeah, it seems to have confused them. Confused me. Is this the scenario where I kill one to prove your point, or there are ten? Look at that right? guy right there. Hmm? Estimate them. They seem a little bit more nervous now that uh, uh, Mildred is looking at him a little harder, but it's more like what? What? And they, they have they look like people who were not expect it's it's kind of like people who said hey we're gonna go to the park and then they get attacked by a goose partway through a picnic <laughs> that, like, what's going on <laughs> all right so I think we're all set here by a goose today that kind of look uh, as we leave oh no. Yeah. Something off about them. No. No what, are winking at me, Rad? what are you trying to tell me? I don't understand. I, I just did tell you. He's winking at you in a certain pattern. Did You're it? not sure if he's trying to SOS wink you or act, 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 act. Ooh, he acts at you. <laughs> hmm. So where do you guys wish to head to? All right. So we're set here. We uh we go we're gonna go to uh make sure to get clothing so we can uh blend uh, in and uh uh right mark off uh uh, uh 300 for like kind of basic if you want to get fancy then more okay so what are we actually doing rad Change you know, the gothic now right. and check in on the golden waddle though all these blokes uh deal with booze and all that so this isn't Gothic. Is this is Gothic the one with the anchor? <clears throat> yeah, like we it? we were in uh, modern day. The kid. Yes, the kid. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, we're gonna find him too. And uh, should we stop at a store first? You're worried it might be your kid, Mildred. Could be. Maybe your kid. Yeah, I'll stop at a store and uh, stock up on uh, some extra goodies. Let me count my backpack here. What kind of goodies do you want to get? Happy pie. Hmm. This one's still got two years left on it. Yeah, I, I hand one to Suede out of uh, my backpack. <laughs> he eats the horrible looking uh, uh, American uh, snack cake that's made to last for five years on the shelf. You're pretty sure it contains nothing but sugar and chemicals, Yana. <laughs> it is horrible. Yes. As all American snack foods do. Yeah. Uh, well, he's crossing off money. Um, you're getting rid of scuba diving? Yes. We're going to yeah. put on your uh, tiny water modern. Uh -huh. All right. I'll have to figure that out. All right. Yeah, I was wondering about that, too, because I've got scuba. Tiny water, water modern. It, it Also, this way it will give the players more options and stuff rather than... Uh, is with also with the vehicles um there's there's uh lots uh, lots of different kinds of vehicles and i wanted to make the vehicles a bit more accessible so now also with tiny water water modern 
it will allow you to do stuff like if you get one of those uh, like propeller things that you, you can use, or even if you wanted to get a boat drone, which is less useful than the air drone, but like if a little boat to go on, you could use that same skill for that. So, because otherwise there's so many vehicles that it, the players are never going to have uh, enough points. Even with this way, there's something like 50, 60 different kinds of vehicle things you can get. So that's a lot. Ride unicorn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now it's just, <laughs> uh, primitive, uh, um, primitive uh, land, uh, small. So yeah, I yeah, you're gonna fucking be on the unicorn. At some oh point. yeah, because I got some horse skill. So that's tiny primitive land. Uh, small, 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 small primitive land. Because uh, the the that's the only tricky part is is it tiny is it small because like a big fucking bird but it can only carry one person person would still be small small as you with maybe your shit maybe not uh, medium is the group of PCs large is the group of PCs maybe an extra car you know huge is dun 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 dun, dun you know where the camera just watches the whole big ass spaceship and you have to have like a crew of a hundred people and that kind of shit so. And you can go eat other spaceships or whatever you're into. But yeah. So nobody's going to probably learn huge shit because it, it's like, oh, I need another 15 people or more to just even have a chance of piloting this thing. You know, whereas large, it's like, okay, yeah, we've got our Firefly or our Battlestar Galactica or our giant clam thing that flies around and, go, and lasers are inside. Beep, beep, beep. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so we've got clothes. Got some extra happy pies. Buy a couple okay. of boxes of those. Actually, okay. got quite a few left in my backpack. <laughs> Good thing is they last so long. Yeah. Break yeah. in case uh, suede goes uh, nutty. Stash. Mm hmm. We all got issues, Mildred. <laughs> Happy pies are to suede as whiskey is to Mildred. <laughs> Here, Mildred's looking at the happy pie thinking if I'm forced to eat one of these, I may lose it and go mm -hmm. berserk. Wanna try one? No. Three year shelf life. Uh. They're actually longer. So if your best taste, they go much longer. Whiskey is not more fun though. You can when you drink it. This is just me. All right, so we'll head over to Gothic next. No problem. You use the clubs in uh, um, uh, this town to Hello, go sir. to uh, Gothic and whatnot. Um, Clem seems to be acting completely normally and whatnot. You guys uh, zip on over to uh, Gothic. Gothic itself, wow, a lot of changes have taken place. Uh, people appear to be, give me empathy rolls on the city and shit. Wow, everybody's got their fucking finger on the goddamn pulse here. People seem to be super worried and all that because uh, according to uh, Mildred, they used to use a lot of magic here and stuff like that. And uh, magic itself has apparently become harder. And when it, when, when it switches from uh, always works to uh, like a, you have to make a willpower roll, for most people, that means that it's a coin flip whether it works or not. So that means that all kinds of vehicles are just on the sides of the road. People aren't using them anymore. Uh, stuff oh, they're, like not, they're not using the uh, crisp power vehicles anymore? Uh, no. It, would you get in your car if you had a 50-50 chance of stopping halfway to your destination every time you used it? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you there's a there's probably like the one asshole with the willpower of twenty. Ha ha ha! My shit still works. Ha ha ha! ha you know that kind of guy. But um, so it, it's much more rare that anybody's using their shit. Um, but also, you notice that the guards, rather than carrying around the Chris pistols and stuff, they've had to step back down to crossbows. Uh, there's guy with the end is nigh sign stuff on it. You know, 
shit like that. So it's people are definitely worried about this because magic was a big part of life here. Yeah, that was the whole point of making the golden waddle here. <laughs> have a magic friendly base. Go and figure. Let that shit slip. How about that? So, so Mildred, did you hear the what the cause of this might be? Not really. I wasn't here in a long time. Wonder if it's related to the overall uh, imbalance with the uh, people walking patterns so much and not enough logris. Maybe or something. As he brings that up, uh, Sway looks over and sees just like a crudely done uh, uh, piece of uh, 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 shit that's been painted on the walls and stuff, you know, just a little bit of graffiti. And he, you know, he's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And something, Sway, in the back of your mind goes, this must mean something. <laughs> Now, Man. as we're walking, uh, we're gonna see we're gonna stop and see Yandun before we head to the Golden Waddle, and I want to do counter surveillance. Certainly. Keep your eyes open, Swade. Yeah, this is the last place that I actually saw the Joker telling us. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for him. Yeah, let's see them counter surveillance things. All right, success. Mm -hmm. One second here. I just wanted to give people a chance to roll and shit. So it's like, hmm, hmm. All right. Wow. Go Yana. Uh, <laughs> right. The one guy who's like, I know exactly what to look for, doesn't see it. The other two, though, they see it. Uh, you pretty much, when you're, when you're going into Yandun's place, you do see up in like a tower across the street. You guys, you two are thinking, uh, actually give me surveillance rolls to figure out what you're thinking. This is for more information. Suede hasn't really noticed it or anything, but wow. Yana goes, hmm. And she goes, I know what is going on. Ross is like, oh, I agree. You guys are thinking static surveillance post. Right, so somebody's been surveilling the great Yan dude, waiting for some assholes to show up, and those assholes are you. And so, and you thought you caught a glimpse of a purple jacket. Uh -oh. So we we notice that as like we're on the block. So is that the no, kind as, of you're, as you're heading into Yan Dune's place, because uh, it was pretty much set up like so that. It can only see Yandun's front door, and so you didn't notice it until you were going in. You're doing like the last look, and you're like, "Oh, motherfucker!" So you're thinking, "I wonder if Yandun has a back door." Thoughts like that are coming into your head. Yeah, that's that's actually what I'm wondering. Uh, so mm -hmm. as we go in, and I, uh, just looks around and goes, "No, I." I <laughs> and when we're inside, I'll uh, relay this to Swade about the static location, and I think I saw the Joker up there. And uh, oh, we want to try to uh, trap that motherfucker. Yes. What do you say we try to capture him? Yes. I always wanted to talk to the Joker. Yeah, dude think. comes out, his hair is all fucked up, and he goes, I'm happy and angry with you, wrestling. That's what you said last time. I'm Just still becoming your typical greeting. Emotions. Tell me. It's the same thing, because I really like her. She's a little crazy and stuff, but you know, I, dangerous women are always attractive to me. He looks at Mildred and goes, "How are you doing?" And, <laughs> but she, you know, she's still angry that uh, she had a really expensive Chris stolen, as well as her last uh, of those of those uh, the, the paw things, cinder paws. Yeah, I mean, she's unforgiving, relentless. Strict disciplinarian. Oh, he says. Well, well, we have Colburn to blame for that. He's uh, we've dealt with him. He's we're not going to see him around much. But I know that doesn't help you out. Yeah, no, I mean, she, she, I, I'm dirt now to her. Is uh, she still in the city? Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's doing other experiments. 
possibly for other alchemists. He comes over and he grabs Ross and then he shakes and he goes, I'm never going to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I might like her a lot, but I don't know. <clears throat> Well, I'll see what I can uh, do. Maybe I can put in a good word for you. I don't know. I think if you show up, it'll just make her more mad. Uh, Unless you have a huge stack of gold. Do you have a huge stack of gold? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> the uh, What's been going on with the uh, the magic around here? It seems like the uh, the vehicles and all that, no one's using them anymore. No, no. Every, the magic is dying. It's dying. <gasps> dying soon there will be no more magic it's leaking out like if you try to put jello into swiss cheese huh? have you ever tried that mm -hmm. yeah I'm not trying even, even my my potions and stuff are re reducing their effectiveness and stuff which oh, is wow. not good um you guys travel to different worlds and stuff if if the magic goes away from this, uh, it, you know, I'd be willing to relocate, you know, because um, I'm not getting any dates here, and you know, I really have nothing here to live for. He mutters and looks around. Well, when, you say, uh, when you say when you say magic is leaking out, mm -hmm. is there like a is is that just in general it's leaking out or do you know is there nobody knows what's causing it or why it's happening i mean i they even they even closed down the 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 mage thing you remember how they used to have the council of 13. no vaguely well the, yeah yeah the ai's you mean the, oh sorry. <laughs> huh? what's that what that was the ruling council of the city that's right. That's right. Well, a lot. Some of them died. Some of them fled, and some of them went into hiding. Of course, when the the military took over. But I've heard. And I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that their their magic has died, and now nobody casts spells anymore. And if they do, then uh, I've heard that that uh, they they get arrested by the secret police. Mm yeah yeah i mean chris still sometimes works but it's become so unreliable that the military is going back to crossbows and stuff you know even even uh getting some of the the ancient vehicles and stuff from before the fall the first fall now we've got two falls uh, this place is not doing great he says but they're, they're going in and they're salvaging some of the spring steel from the old uh cars that used some sort of liquid to run on and stuff you know um from the old old days the before four time before gotcha. we lost all of our wordy words i mean mm. yeah for what you are yeah so yeah things are not going good and on top of that there's been some sort of green-haired freak terrorizing the city blowing stuff up and all that we're not sure uh, how or what he's what he's doing it with or anything mm. yeah uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. He says. All right. Well, I'll. Uh, Mildred. Hmm? Do you want to go on a date? Uh, no. Oh, okay. He says <laughs> he looks disappointed. Well, I'll see what I could do. I'll put in a good word uh, with uh, Dr. Ainsworth if I see her. Uh, I, I don't know. Unless you've got something to appease her, better just leave her alone. All right. Because, yeah, she's so angry. So angry. Oh, she's mm. angry. Oh, so angry. Do you have a back door here, uh, Yondun? Oh, sure. Yeah. Towards the back. I think we'll exit that way. Stay right. vigilant. Keep your eyes open. Okay. I wander towards the back. No problem. I go out the front. All right. Swain heads out the front. You you out the back. Mildred, which do you go out? The back. All right. You guys open up the back door, and the Heath Ledger Joker standing outside. He goes, "Who loves ya?" Oh hi. You go out the front. There's absolutely nothing wrong going on. Out the front. Uh, meat on a stick. <laughs> I go chase down the vendor. <laughs> 
and you two go into standard combat. And I attempt to grab them. Huh? I attempt to grab them. All right, no problem. Let's do some standard combat and see how this goes. Um, heroes are first. Discussing the weather with yeah. the crew. Go ahead and give me a grapple roll there, some red. He's got a uh, small knife out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like him. Yes. He seems like a fun fellow. And he's... Uh, cool time. Mm -hmm. What's that? I said I, I rolled by a quarter. Wow. You grab a hold of him. He goes, ah, frisky, huh? What do you do, Yana? Uh, can I uh, also grab him so he's like he can move? Absolutely. Go for it. You're thinking that even though Rasslin's got him. Oh, yep. Yeah, you you guys have grabbed the shit out of him. Uh, uh, he's going go to try to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got him in a chokehold yet, but he's going to try to do strength versus strength to, uh, 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 let's see, uh, to try to get at least Rasslin into a position where he can knife the shit out of him next round. Rasslin, what's your strength at? Uh, 74. Okay. I uh, roll a 45 or less. He's just a little stronger than you. Nope. He positions you for a multiple stab wound. Meanwhile, I chose uh, Ralph uh, buying meat on a stick. And by the way, the uh, discussing the weather is approved. The guy's uh, like, mm, real new. Oh, <laughs> car, <he's> like, mm. <laughs> Do you have any money for this zone, or are you going to be trying to barter with him? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Let's just look around. No, he's, he's, he's thinking you're going to buy something. Uh, but <laughs> weather. Next round. Villains are sadly first. Acrobatics is approved. He stabs the shit out of Rasslin. Just... <laughs> and he says, I appreciate the hug. Here's one from me. And... He attempts to knife the shit out of Rasslin Rad. He brutally knifes the shit out of Rasslin Rad, causing a mirror. You have, a, you have no armor on, correct? No. Nope. The strength bonus, four points. Uh, let's see. Four okay. real multiple lacerations. I guess I will take that for now. Yeah. You always hurt the ones you love, he says. And now we go to, um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Yana, what do you do? Uh, can I hold him by one hand and by the other hand try to get his knife? Uh, give me a grapple roll at half. You're just going for the knife. If you make it, then uh, it'll stop. He'll have to stop. Right, no problem. Because he'll probably try to get the knife out but jay what are you in there um i will attempt to so you said she got the knife or oh, yeah he, she's fucking both hands on it like this is going to become my knife and he's holding on to it for dear life all right i want to continue to grapple him trying to either subdue him or choke him out or something like that give me a grapple roll to get into a good choking position okay Lower is better, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you squirm around on him, but you're you're slipping due to all the blood. Your blood. <laughs> Ralph, what are you up to? I'm still not alerted to anything. I can't no, think fine. about the weather. All right. <laughs> you have a nice conversation with the guy. Uh, let's see. Heroes are first. Villains are second. Villains cannot use magic. Shooting a pistol gangsta style, giving yourself a half chance to hit is approved. Um, <laughs> Yana, what's your strength at? Uh, my strength is uh, 87. Um, you, if you want to roll against him in strength, you can take away the knife, but then you won't have his hand anymore, or you'll be at big negatives for controlling the hand, but you'll have the knife. I try to take the knife. Do you want the knife? Alone, or do you want to split your efforts between knife and hand? Um, he's holding him right. Oh, yeah, wrestling rads, uh, writhing around on him like he's in a uh, porno. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So I, I just try to take the knife. But... All right, you, you let go of his arm and snatch the knife. Go ahead and roll. Uh, let's see, you got 87, call it 90, so 10 up. Roll a 60 or less, and it's your knife. Oh, critted. Critted, all right. You snatch the knife from him, and uh, the Joker looks at Russell and Rodney and goes, that's the deal with women. They take everything in a relationship. <laughs> and Russell, what do you do? All right. I, are you, you're trying to get to a better grapple position so you can begin choking him? Yeah. All right. You grab him around the throat. You've got him in a nice arm lock on the throat. And he goes, ah, 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 he says. <laughs> and we, uh, for his round, he attempts to grab something out from inside of his coat. Barely manages to do it. He appears to be really super skilled at this shit. He pulls out a small metal sphere and he goes, ha, 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 actually. So we now go to next round. It seems to have some sort of pin and stuff in it. Heroes are first. Uh, wit is approved. Ralph, you're first. How long are these rounds? About five seconds. So I keep talking about the fucking weather. I mean, <laughs> if you say something witty, you get a card. Uh, ah, no, no, no. All right. No problem. <laughs> and uh, heroes are first. Uh, Yana, you've got his knife. Um, can I try to? Grab the spheric sphere he put on. Drop the, drop the knife and go for the sphere? Or do you want to split your efforts and hold the knife in one hand and grab the sphere in the other? Uh, and he probably has so many spheres. I have so many hands. Quick, Yana, what do you do? Um, I will just uh, let the knife go to the ground. And mm, he says. <laughs> All right. And go ahead and give me a grapple roll and half to uh, grab hold of his new sphere. If you make it a full hilarity, may ensue. If you miss, then you miss. Right, Walter. <laughs> she grabs hold. He goes, God damn it. <laughs> or actually, he goes, <laughs> and uh, wrestling, uh, you're working on choking him out. Yep. You made, you, no problem. Uh, he's going to attempt to pit his strength against yours, too, because he likes air. And uh, if he fails this, then he's going to have to roll an endurance roll uh, uh, to remain conscious. So uh, go ahead and uh, let's see. You've got a, a little bit less. So roll 45 or less as he's trying to basically throw you off. Okay. Uh, is this skill plus five count towards this? 50. 50 if you're playing a skill five. Okay. Yeah, the system works even for those. Woo, system. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Uh, yeah, he rolls his endurance of full. He says. He's good. And uh, next round. The guy, uh, give me a um, fast talk roll there, Ralph. This is for being friendly and charming. You're not getting a free meat on a stick. All right, oh. next round. <laughs> Heroes are first, villains are second, uh, and the police show up. The guards uh, come up, and they see the you guys are struggling with them, and they're like, Woo! we got them. Yeah, they, they're coming over, and they, they're working on arresting. Unless you guys are wanting to do anything wild, the guards pretty much uh, help you to take them down. They handcuff him, and they're going to take him away. Uh, as they're doing that, I kind of like, uh, I, I want to kind of check in his coat to see if he has more of the spears on him sort of thing. Uh, give me a press digitation roll. The guards are trying to get you guys away, but you might be able to snag some out without them noticing. Look, he's got more on him. Ah, well, yeah, they're, 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 we'll careful. deal with this, citizen. The guards, uh, it, it's amazing just how brutal the guards are in a uh, military-led uh, uh, dictatorship. So, yeah, they're pretty much beating the shit out of him, being careful not to kill him. 
He quickly goes unconscious that you guys are pretty much holding him still. You let and Colonel Dosekis know. We send our regards. What's your name, citizen? They say he's really surprised that he got the... Hey, wrestling red, mate. Uh, he rolls his knowing it people. He got... Of the golden waddle? That's right. And a couple of drinks on the house for you tonight. He wants to shake your hand, and the uh, other guards are like, uh, "Would you? Would you like to?" Yeah, they're holding up the Joker. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, "You get a couple of good ads." They're like, "Wow, that's I, ruining uh, me suit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the guards are like, "Wow, wrestling rat!" Can you believe we got to meet? They drag him off. Be careful of him. He's he's interesting. You let the colonel know we'll come by and check on him and uh, have a word with this bloke later. <laughs> <laughs> he is not in good shape. Uh, drag him off and um, yeah, make they, sure you keep his hands bound. Might want to uh, might want to gag they, him as well. They know what hand grenades are. Yeah, they, they were leaving my ball that stuff. Um, they take the hand grenade and uh, knife that we're laying here. Is this one of yours? Knife. Looks I'll like take that. Uh, thank you. Oh, there that you gives are. me blood. Here, All right. hold on to that, Mildred. Mm -hmm. yes. they, they take him away. So, do you think he will not escape them? Uh, he probably will, but maybe we'll get a chance to talk to him first. Hopefully. All right. Okay. Let's go find that jackass head of security. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Um, give me a dance roll, uh, Ralph. <laughs> I'm trying to teach you like a local dance and stuff. No, no, you, you, you guys go around the building and discover him. At uh, like there's some guy with a push cart that's selling meat on the stick who's like uh, dancing around in front of him, and your head of security's like, and he's dancing like he's white. It's rather tragic. Do the gopher shuffle. No. Uh, they they look, look a bit rumpled, and there's blood down uh, Rasslin Rad's uh, clothes. Hi. <laughs> so why didn't you follow your head of security? Uh, because I walked out the back. <laughs> you why didn't did you three B? We wanted to trap Joker, and it worked. So I... that part about us trying to sneak up on him, and yeah, he probably uh, left you a package. You said the Joker was up on the roof, right? Yeah. I'll let you work on that one. And then it <laughs> followed that part about let's go try to trap him. No, no, no. He probably left you something up on the roof because, you know, obviously you can't pick out anybody out of a crowd. So he probably made it really noticeable for you to uh, see him. Mm. Okay. We well, can go check that too then. You guys that over there and you <clears throat> cover uh, like it's building across like a small square, not big city square, small square. Uh, and then you discover like there's like a concealed ladder in. Uh, I'm not going to ask for a climb roll. Who wants to go up the ladder of death first into the happy fun house maze of doom? Happy fun house? Well, I'm not interested in going up there. But oh, if you well, want to go it, find the package he left for us and then tried to kill us, that, you know, because that makes sense. Right, I mean, by happy fun house maze of doom, I'm saying that it looks like it, it, he went up and there's like uh, kind of a, one of the smaller doors that you can use to go out and reshingle your roof or something. But then that probably leads into uh, like the the yeah. little tower thing right. that he was at. That's what I'm saying. Is is, is he was here staking it out? You said, right. "Oh, look, he's up there." That means he would have had to have the supplies here and things that he wouldn't expect you to find. That he wouldn't expect us to find, or I start climbing the ladder. All right, no. <laughs> six sense, danger sense. I'm staying down there. <laughs> I'm not following the logic. It's fine. it's fine. You guys are such Nancy's. I'm not sure why he would leave a package and then try to get me. 
No, 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 no. I'm saying by him hiding, he was just leaving things. You know what I mean? He was just living there. He was hiding out there. Uh -huh. The package would be maybe clues or something about him. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch you. <laughs> Yeah, you keep going. All right, you get over and uh, give me a spot hit and roll at half, Ralph, as you're getting ready to like the like little door and stuff like that. Mildred, is this me rib poking out here? <laughs> Critical. <laughs> between between the door and the the door jam thing, there's like a little gap, and you can see like just a little bit of like uh, uh, looks like a metal wire of some sort. You're not sure what it goes to or from or anything or what's connected to, but uh, yeah, seems to be there. You, uh, oh, give me trapping roll. Hmm. Eh, yeah, yeah. It's disarmed. I open it. All right. Here, I will. No uh, and the, you see a, it looks like a Claymore mine that's pointed at you. Now I'm going to roll 30% or less and it detonates. Otherwise, it's art. Here we go. 30%. Boom. It's art. I told you it was disarmed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it's fucking disarmed. So everything's going super for you. You crawl in and then you go up like a little, a short ladder and then you're in like this tower and it's got uh, shutters on. It looks like the kind of tower that people build onto their home. That look at my fancy home, but that no way ever uses it because it's really fucking inconvenient to get to and shit. Uh, and so it's become a place where uh, it smell of bird shit from the outside and stuff. But in here you find it looks like food, water, uh, there's a chair, uh, there's a jugs magazine, uh, there's, uh, well, what else has he got? Uh, there's, uh, looks like a bunch of papers have been tacked up and it shows almost everybody, not quite everybody, but almost everybody from the group. More people than you know, certainly, I believe. All right, I start unpinning those and since I don't know everybody. And... Cool. And that, just in case there's any notes or anything like that written on the back of them or Back's anything there. behind them. Um, you, you go through and look and you find a lot of like, um, he, he sometimes writes things. A lot of it's just complete nonsense, but occasionally it's like, wake up, got to wake him up. Everybody's going to wake up and then I'll wake up. That seems to be a very recurring theme as notes. All right. Um, any makeup up here? Uh, no, none. All right. Interesting. All right. Yeah, super interesting. Or permanently tattooed. All right. Um, his food and water, does it look like it's local mm -hmm. or is it from somewhere else? Uh, this just looks like local stuff. Okay. I you do see there's a couple of weird um, things that do look like, hold on a second. In addition to the local food, there's also some stuff that looks like this. Reveal areas, there it is, like that. And they seem to be in like little packets and they have uh, uh, weird writing on them. Mm. One piece per packet. All right. You um, also find a uh, uh, roll of D100 silver open ended and a D6 gold exploding. By that, I mean, if you roll a six, you get a roll in our D6 and add it, not the gold explodes. So, so D8 silver. silver. Mm -hmm. And one gold. Okay. Cool. cool. Apparently, uh, being some sort of criminal is not as rewarding for him as it could be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, now you can buy that meat on a stick. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly my first thought. So I grabbed like those sugar candy weird looking things and uh, 
I discreetly take his centerfold of jugs out and I fold it up tiny and I stick it like in my cuff. Okay. You take away as one comfort. <laughs> All right. Um, take the claymore with me too. <laughs> Make sure right. I point it away from me. <laughs> okay. He comes down and points the claymore at you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a right. front toward enemy. You, you read it and go, I wonder if it's going to go off. This is your first thought. I wonder if it will go off. You're not sure. I wonder if it will go off. Right. He wants to play catch with it now. I put it in my pocket. My, my, it's a my bit pocket. big. Oh, okay. I just carry the damn thing. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, yeah, let's go get some of that meat. I... <laughs> He jingles a bag of money he's produced. Right. Uh, the the meat's one silver per stick. Uh, three or four sticks would do you right proper. But, you know, uh, if you buy if you buy four sticks, three silver. He'll give you a deal on it. All right. Right. Yeah. There you go. I just give him eight, eight silver and just load up on some food and Done. hand a couple to my buddies and move on. It's even better for having sat there and smelled it for so long before you got <laughs> Even better. Right. Where would you guys like to head to? Uh, let's see. And while we're walking, I'll share with them what I found up there. Not the jugs. That's just between him and I. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me see one of them drawings. Yeah. Here you go. Looks like he might be a Dora, too. Mm. They, they, don't look, they don't look like super professionally done. Somebody with better than hobbyist skill, but not professional skill, uh, spent a while drawing. They, they kind of captured the essence of the different people. Uh, no backgrounds are in them. It's just like, this is what they look like. What I'm curious about is I, um, I got to look at the drawings before that they had found on that spy. Different. And uh, totally they're totally kind of a different hand. Different hand, but take a card that's good thinking. Also, something that's interesting is this paper looks kind of crude. This is the kind of paper you'd expect to find in the old West thing where it's kind of lumpy and stuff, you know, not modern paper. Gotcha. Maybe he wants to help us. Maybe he like, wants to wake us up or something. Mm. Yeah, I... Uh... The others had mentioned something about that. About um, I got um, a message from uh, Dr. Yang. Mm. And apparently, uh, Doc Fulton had uh, had an encounter with him mm. uh, just the other day. And he was telling them that he had to wake them up so they would understand what's going on. And then he tried to blow them up. And apparently, they killed him. And he disappeared. And when he died... He left behind some kind of shimmering magic that was mostly logris and partly pattern. Mm, and uh, obviously, he's a Dora like us because now he's respawned. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what that means of him trying to wake us up. Mm. I mean, he was uh, he escaped from the uh, mental asylum in the village. I understand. So it could just be his. Uh, yeah but, usually, yeah, but usually there is some sort of like reason behind. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. This is Gothic, you said? 